Okay, so I've done, I've sewn this side, and on this one, I started in the middle, went down, turned around and came up and went back. But your book shows a different way, so I'm gonna do it a little differently on this side. Okay, first we gotta fold that over, and I just wanna make sure, like, if I'm over here on the cork, and I'm stitching there, I wanna make sure that looks good. Yeah, very good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is, on the book it has you to start over here, come in at an angle till you get here, and then come straight down, and then angle out again. So let's try it that way. And then um, your sample is a good time to kinda practice a little bit to see what you like. So I'm starting at the angle, okay, and um, you can't really see as good on this. Okay, here we go. So I'll just come in like that. Okay, so here I come in. Okay, and I'm going to turn it, and but I'm again going to try and go just barely to the inside of that stitching. Okay, that's good. Now I'm just going to kind of angle out. And then when I angle out, I can actually, you don't really need to backstitch because you're such small step, small, small stitches, but I kind of like to. This one I didn't. Okay, so there's that one. So that's what that one looks like, like the book one. I kind of got carried away over here. Okay, now let's look at it. There, now when we pull it back, there. That's what it looks like. And this was the last one I did. So I kind of pulled this back when I stitched it. And I think by doing that, it made it the lip just a tiny bit bigger than the other one. Can you see that? So see how it's a tiny bit bigger? So with that in mind, I could go back and go inside one more time so that it comes out a little bit smaller, but personally, if I iron that good, and if somebody is going to measure this, I will tell them to get away from me. No, I actually think it looks great. So let's just go with that, and now the next thing we need to do is pull this back and do our little triangles like we did the other one. And the way that they like you to do it in the book is to come across and go back, but as you come back, you, as you go back and forth, you kind of make a zigzag to um, to keep that triangle down. I'm gonna, I've got some basting here I think I'm gonna get rid of so that I don't, I'm not stitching over that basting. So there, let's get rid of that. Okay, so let's go over here and I'm going to start by putting my needle down right here. I'm just a little bit beyond there. Okay, and I'm gonna first, I'm actually gonna go back one stitch. Oh, okay, and forward. You're What's on going on? First. Oh, there we go. Okay, go forward. Okay, I think it's going forward. Not very good, there's something wrong. 